Hello, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and in this short video I just wanted to talk about the SynScan uh, controller. So you're getting the Starseeker um, telescope, uh, maybe the 114, the 130, the 150, any of those guys. Uh, if you get it with the package with the hand controller, this is the hand co controller that you're going to get. So let me uh, just kind of give you an overview of uh, the features of it, uh, how it plugs in, and uh, we'll go from there. So you'll be using the V5 controller if you don't want to be using your uh, smartphone with the built-in Wi-Fi of the telescope. So this, uh, again, does not require a smartphone. It's a standalone computer with about 42,000 objects, 42,000 plus objects in the database. So it's completely standalone. You don't need anything else to control your telescope uh, but this. So one side plugs into the telescope arm, and then on the bottom you've got a couple of ports. This is the telescope control port. There's a serial adapter port here for talking to a computer if you wanted to interface uh, maybe with an old school computer that has serial. But there's also a USB port. That's something new for the V5 controller. There's not a lot of computers out there anymore that have serial ports. So we've included a USB to make the connection a bit easier with modern computers. Once you've got the um, SynScan controller connected, uh, turn it on and then you're just going to give it some information. You're going to give it the uh, location, latitude, longitude, and time. Now if you're using the smartphone, uh, with the built-in Wi-Fi, you don't have to do that because the uh, smartphone with a built-in GPS downloads it from the satellites and you're good to go. But with the hand controller, just enter that once, and then as long as you're setting up in the same location, say your backyard or your favorite camping spot, uh, that information will save. At least the latitude and longitude will save. Then you just enter the time um, and continue on with the uh, alignment procedure. The alignment procedure is very simple. It's just a two-star alignment. There's actually a couple of different uh, alignment procedures in the, in the uh, system, but the, the two-star is my favorite. It's the simplest. You just identify two stars up there, point it at the first one, say there's Betelgeuse. It'll slew to where the second star is, but it'll be a little bit off. Center it with the arrows, and, now, and then say I'm, I've aligned it, and now it's good to go. It will find any of the 42,000 plus objects in the database. Once you've got the telescope aligned and you're ready to uh, view an object, then you go to the hand controller and there are several um, databases. And so let me go through some of those with you right here. First thing would be the planetary list. So you hit seven for planet. It will suggest different planets that are up. It will not tell you a planet that's already set or below the horizon. So it just goes through the list of planets that are up for your time of night and location. Uh, you hit enter and then it will go right to the object. Uh, the Messier list, number four here, just enter the Messier number. For, so, for example, uh, uh, the Orion Nebula is M42. Um, you can get that information from any number of different sources online. We have books. The, uh, uh, the Telescope Observer Guide uh, that we sell uh, includes all of the, the Messier objects, or at least the highlight ones. The NGC objects, that's, uh, the, the Messiers are included in the NGC list, but there's also 7,000 other uh, objects in there. So that's a big database of deep sky objects. Um, now let's say you're out there and you don't have a reference guide and you don't know what the number for uh, the designation for Orion is or Andromeda. There's a tour function. So you just hit tour, you tell it what month it is, and it will suggest a bunch of highlight showpiece objects that are up there. Some might be planets, some might be some deep sky objects. I, I'm sure uh, Orion would be in there if it's uh, midwinter because that's like probably the, the best and brightest deep sky objects up in the wintertime. And then there's other buttons on here, the rate. You can change the rate of the um, arrows. So if you're just manually slewing around and you think it's going a little too fast, you can hit rate and then you have a choice from one through nine, from slowest setting to highest. There's utility functions on here, all sorts of different uh, settings for the controller itself. You can experiment with that. Uh, also, the manual is available on our website under this product, so you can peruse it and see exactly what the hand controller can, can do for you. All right, well, there you have it. This is the SynScan uh, uh, controller for the Starseeker mounts. If you did not want to use a smartphone for some reason with the built-in Wi-Fi, you can uh, get the hand controller by itself. You can buy it as a package with any of the Starseeker uh, telescopes as well. Uh, your choice. Uh, but the SynScan controller for the Starseeker telescopes. Thank you very much. Clear skies.